Hello. This is an introduction. All right. <laughs> this is the first thing people see. <laughs> <laughs> so we're taking a luxury cocktail garnish. We're going to ferment it and see if we can turn it into alcohol. It's probably one of the most expensive things we've ever done on the channel. <sighs> I see what you did there. Yeah. Luxury garnish. Because of, because of Luxardo. Luxardo. It means luxury in French. They're Italian. Ah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and now it's in here. <laughs> Hey, uh, we have to prepare the ingredients of Luxardo cherries. Cal just said it took a year to collect all of the Luxardo cherry juice. 23, 25 bucks per jar. Oh my God. God, it's so thick. This all one's right. a little, uh, a little stuck. Every, I <laughs> every guy in the world waits for this moment. Oh yeah. I loosened it so hard. Uh, um, that was it, it was very loose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, what do we have here? Nothing. <laughs> this is gonna be a <laughs> Yes? Is there something that you need? Wait, no way, you forgot one. Ah! Yes, did you need something? Nope. Ah, my God! Yes? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Can I? I got it! Oh, you did you? Oh, oh f yeah, dude. Full body Oh, flex. there was a cherry in that one. No! <laughs> <laughs> All right, try not to miss. Ah, oh, I think that was another cherry. Oh my God, there's so many cherries in here. What are we doing, guys? I'm looking at two cherries right here. This is why nobody has insurance here. God, that had so many. This is. <laughs> oh. Uh -huh. oh. I like them thick. Down with the thickness. <laughs> Crushed it. You're not even headbanging. Now I look like a chump. Instant diabetes oh, if you found that. Oh, look at that jiggle. All right, so we need to be splitting up this Luxardo cherry juice. We're gonna need a lot of water because this is so incredibly thick. Oh gosh. You can do this. Oh. What? Ah! That felt good. Oh God. Definitely don't. Do you want to do this? I would like to do this. Okay. Okay. Ah! Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, man? <laughs> oh, it's crawling up the sides. Oh, wow. It's, oh, it's oh, going. Yes! Don't what do it. What would I possibly do right Don't now? Don't. What are you do even. It. Do it. Ah! So, we're going to put the yeast in there. The yeast are going to find. Oh, I wonder if there's sugar. We're going to kick out the fermentation. We're going to circle back in about a week. You're doing good. That was a good one. It's about the same distance as that I did, so. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> hey, Ken. What's that? Hey, Cap. Hey, what up? It's your boy, Skinny Penis. Skinny Penis. Skinny Penis. Skinny Penis. Penis. And here comes Kyle. He's been summoned. No yelling at the brewery. Are you a librarian, Kyle? <laughs> this episode is sponsored by Fuse. Now, probably the best way to replace a bad habit is with a good habit. Foom is an award-winning flavored air device. There's no chemicals, there's no batteries or anything. It's just flavored air. And they have several different flavors that are on the screen right now to, to choose from and experience. But it's actually really well made. The tactile sensation. There's an airflow thing on the back. And as you're turning this, it's a nice, satisfying little Oh uh, yeah. Also, so, that weight though. Oh yeah, no, it's mm. hefty, it's hefty. You got one of them oral fixations? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It fills the void 
in a natural guilt-free <laughs> way. <laughs> so basically, you are replacing a bad habit with a good habit. It's easy, it's fun, it's enjoyable, and it fills the void in a natural guilt-free way. So what what flavor do you have there? I got the mint. That's Crisp. actually, yeah, it's the best seller. Is it really? People that love makes the mint. Sense. People love the mint. It opens you up. I like that. Makes you ready. Oh, orange vanilla is the one I really like. You're ready for action. So where are they going if they want to try out fume? They're gonna go to tryfume.com slash whiskey tribe for 10% off the journey pack. Or you got a QR code, you can scan that, pop right over there, use code whiskey tribe. We are doing the stripping run. Our Fermented Luxardo cherries. So let's assess the situation. It's a uh, cherry kombucha. Got that kombucha. It's not. It's not bad though. It definitely. It, for me, it smells like a um, mm -hmm. like a dark cider. So whenever we do the stripping run, this is gonna come out clear. That's good shit. Yeah. Honestly. If that was bottled, I would buy. It. I'm saying. I'm, I would drink that straight up. Yeah, it's not too sweet. It's not sugary, sugary sweet. Although if this was a beer, it'd have to be like a. $30 beer. All right, let's dump this. Oh, there's a cherry, I saw it, I saw it. So there's definitely a few cherries in there. No, look how many cherries are in here. Well, there's a lot. Kyle's gonna start the stripping run, and then we're gonna take all that, put it back in the still, turn it into a spear run. Hey, look at this cool, wow, here we go. Hey, Cal. Hey. These are our low wines. Yeah. What we just did was a stripping run. So we stripped out all the alcohol from our fermented Luxardo mm. cherry juice. Got about four gallons at 60 proof of low wines. And so we're about to put this back in the still. Yep. Get all those flavors. See if we can taste our original ingredient. Uh, be a couple more hours. And then we'll have some hearts for y'all to taste. This one could be really the good. The best tasting, yes. I've said that before though. Hey, let's do that thing where we uh, take a person and make them wildly uncomfortable in an impossible situation where you can't guess the right answer yes. on the internet in front of thousands of people. Uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> we got the Brandon Toffoli. Is this uh, is a little bit of an Italian heritage in the name there? Si. So Brianna and Kyle and I, mostly Kyle, distilled something. Something. Turned it into a spirit. And your job is to go through and uh, assess the spirit with us. We have not had it either. To try and guess what this spirit was made from. Okay, what it's made from. Yes. yes. Are these all? There's that better not be the proof number. It yeah, sure yeah, is. Yeah, is the proof. We don't <laughs> go around over here. So uh, as a distillation is coming out of the still, you're gonna have flavor differences that coincide with the proof differences. This is wow, a fairly narrow window of cut that we're gonna see if it changes over time. And then throughout the course of this tasting, let's find out if you can pinpoint what the original ingredient was that okay. we distilled. Where do we wanna start? You wanna yeah, sniff the big, the big guy? Let's just dive in. This one is at 147.4. I wasn't gonna say drink, I was just gonna say sniffer. Whatever. Hmm. You know? It's surprisingly pleasant. Yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah. That's I actually so. really nice. Well, so first and foremost, I would expect corn. Like, okay. I do smell a sweetness to it. So yeah. I would think corn immediately. Because I know what it is, and for me, it's like, it's right there. It, it is. It reminds yeah. me of mead. Okay, you get like a honey character in there. A little bit, yeah. Mm. I could see that. Like, there's definitely see. a sweetness. I just don't understand the source of the sweetness yet. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. All right, you go. Are your mouth in it? All right, let's mouth. Woo! Hot damn. That's a very high proof. How are you trying to do to us over here? Jolly Rancher. Oh, Jolly Rancher. Jolly Rancher flavor. candy, like a grape or cherry. Cherry. Are you firming up a guess here? Cherry or grape Jolly Rancher of some kind. Mm. Mm. Yeah, there's the sweetness that's undeniable to it, and it 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 tastes foreign. That's the hundred proof version. We're proof. gonna go hundred right now. Oh my god. Go hundred right, right now. Hundred proof. Oh, see now. Oh wait, 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 wait. It's in there. It's in there. It's in there. It's in there. Yeah, it's in there. It's in there. It's in there. Wait. It's in there. You gotta find it. <laughs> it's in there. Have you nipple tested Just this yet? demolished. You got it. Kyle, Good did you form. try this? Holy, every time. Holy I nail it every time. Oh, God. It's in there. Okay. The thing that I know to be the original ingredient, mm -hmm. I'm finding so much more density and saturation of that specific flavor. I am too, but. Less sweetness though, less sugar. Way less sweetness, yeah. yeah. It's in there. It's in there. Wait. <laughs> So what right. do you think it is now? I don't know. Let's jump to 143. I wonder if we should try the hand test. 
Usually. Oh, dude, 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 dude. <laughs> Is it in there? Oh, that's a lot. Okay. <laughs> dude. You getting it? You getting it? It's it's like cherry juice or, or maraschino cherry juice or even like that port so uh, company that makes port so. <laughs> It's like, it's like maraschino cherry juice. It's, it's, it's struggling right to so, understand so, what you're so doing. It's right here. You, it is a version of maraschino cherry. Hey, okay. and think about this. We're known for being very classy people. Look at me paying this. And we don't, we don't mess around with just the, we don't mess it around. the normal maraschino cherry. I mean, come on, we're classy. It's in there. It's in there. So I wasn't close enough with Marisha. Yeah. 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 The glassiest chair. It's in there. It's in there. there. It's in here. It's in there. It's, in it's there. not anymore. I drank it all. Well, now it's in there. It's in there. It's in there. It's in there. It was in here. And now it's in there. We're going to jump all the way down to 135. Okay. Proof. Okay. This okay. is the lowest we had coming off on the nose. It's in there. It's in there. I think it's, you distilled the Sardo cherry it's, juice. It's, I think that's what you did. What? What? What did you say? Is that what you did? Yeah. 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 Did you distill Luxardo cherry juice? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes. Now put your nose in there. Is it in there? Oh, it's in there. Oh, it's, it's in, in there. there. It's that's in what there. it is. <laughs> this is the Veneto region that they've been making Luxardo cherries, but uh, the Marasca cherry, the Marasca cherry, however you say it, they put this in cherry liqueur, right? Mm. Luxardo. Mm, love it. For that. What does that smell like? Actually, ugh. Oh, is it not as good as ours? No. It pours thicker. It just coats the whole glass. Yeah. There's that's, no legs, it's just coated. It's not legs, that's blubber. Ugh, that is. Oh, what is in there? What is in there? <laughs> <laughs> What's weird is that this doesn't smell like it that does, as does. much as ours does. It does. Maybe that is what the cherries go into. Uh, it's worth a Google. Luxardo cherries undergo a lengthy and traditional production process. The cherries are preserved in a Luxardo cherry liqueur made from the juice of the Marasca cherry, which is then sweetened and flavored. Ah, the result is a rich and flavorful cherry with a firm texture. We're tasting this now. Yeah. Mm. I want to put rosemary oh. with it and do yeah. some sort of like light gin martini of some kind. Hey, go do that. Can you do that? So you made us a cocktail. You mentioned something like gin based. What did you make us? So it did two different things. Okay. Because we wanted to feature this, and also I really, really, really wanted to play with this a little bit. Okay. Um, I was really curious. Yeah. Yeah. So it's I did a hell of a proof on it too. Did yes. you proof it down, or did you just as it? No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, nice. So the first one here is basically just a fun type gin martini. Um, so it'd be two ounces of our apology gin, just about a little over a quarter ounce of this. I didn't want to sweeten it up too much. Yeah. So there's a little bit of orange bitters and also a dash of rhubarb in there. Rhubarb. Yeah. Oh. And then also I just hit it with the lemon zest to kind of bring it all together. Yeah. So you okay. guys are welcome to try. So while she prepares to try that, go ahead. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> She's getting ooh. Ooh la la. I'll take oohs. Oh yeah, and this shows up and it plays well with the gin. Just a little bit. Yeah, it just plays bit. nicely with mm -hmm. the gin there. So this one right here is essentially like a variation on like a cherry smash, like a holiday cherry smash. Okay. I went with two ounces of this. Okay. Because it's the holidays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Two ounces. Two ounces. Okay. Of the 130 plus mm -hmm. proof. Okay. <laughs> All right. This was your idea. Well. <laughs> I put about a half an ounce of agave just to calm it down a little bit. Yeah. Um, there's a half an ounce of uh, the orange liqueur that we make here. Yeah. Um, and then there's a half an ounce of lemon in there. Okay. Well. So either okay. Brianna gets all the blame or all the credit for this thing that you made. Yes. yes. <laughs> all right. Go um, ahead. This is stupid. Oh, is it? I like this a lot. Oh, like, I we should have this. taken the credit. Now she gets the credit. What are you doing? That's the season to share. Oh my God, <laughs> I did good? such a good job. <laughs> you did a great job. <laughs> oh my God. It's illegal, but like it's a really good drink. Yeah. So. <laughs> mm, that is really good. Isn't that good? Mm. So mm -hmm. how is it illegal? I, I'd have to check the rules, but I think that much of that proof, it might not be, mm. um, oh, but it's yeah. getting there. Ethanol by volume, it's there. But it's good. It is good. Good, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, good What are you doing? Your pinky's, you, you gotta have a pinky out. Don't tell me how to freedom. You gotta. <laughs> Are you a Italians. cocktail fascist? Cocktail fascist. Italian. I watched the World War II with that Mussolini guy. Oh my god, what are you doing? Listen, <laughs> nobody's perfect. Okay. You can say that about Mussolini, but not Hitler. I'm not sure how to safely respond. <laughs> All right, last episode before Christmas. 
Cheers, you magnificent bastards. 2023 has been a hell of a year, but we're looking forward to 2024. Also, if you are in the Patreon, we're putting together the Luxardo Cherry Spirit Experiment, and it's going to be at a legal proof. So if you want a free neat pour and you're in the Patreon, then uh, come on by Crowded Barrel in South Austin, Texas. Also, if you got your family in town, you're around here, cocktails and whiskey helps. <laughs>